We rounded up 11 of the best cordless drills in the industry, including Milwaukee, Flex, DeWalt, Makita, Hercules, Rigid, Ryobi, Bosch, Hilti, Metabo, and Cobalt. And today, we're gonna compare them all in one video. We'll share all the testing data and specs in charts near the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's take a look at each competitor, starting with this, Milwaukee's fourth generation M18 fuel hammer drill, the 2904. Milwaukee made some stark improvements in its fourth generation M18 fuel hammer drill. The performance gains some ground across all three major categories. It picks up 200 inch pounds of torque, now sitting at 1400 inch pounds. The 2100 RPM top speed is an increase of 100 RPM, and even the hammer rate is 1000 BPM higher, that's beats per minute, at 33,000. That's not all that's new. The fourth generation also, for the first time, includes auto stop kickback control to prevent over rotation during bind ups. Possibly the most impressive thing is that Milwaukee made all of these improvements while maintaining its compact 6.9 inch head length. We did all of our testing before the M18 red lithium forge batteries were revealed to us in person at their pipeline event. So this hammer drill has even more room to build upon the already impressive results that we're about to share with you. Next up is one of Flex's most powerful tools in their relatively new lineup, the FX1271 hammer drill with turbo mode. With a top speed of 2500 RPM and torque that maxes out at 1400 inch pounds, this drill's real world performance completes both light and heavy duty tasks with impressive confidence. It measures a reasonable 7.1 inches long tip to tail, but if we had one gripe, it would be that once you've installed the battery, this tool is noticeably heavier than most of the drills that make up the rest of the competition. Here's the kicker though. You can get this drill with two batteries, a charger, and a hard case for just $199. That's $50 off last year's price, and you can still get a lifetime warranty if you register the tool before the end of 2023. With the amount of power packed into this drill at that price point, professionals will find it difficult to locate a better value. Now let's talk about DeWalt and their newest Flex Vault Advantage hammer drill, the DCD-999. The DeWalt 20 volt Flex Vault Advantage hammer drill doesn't look much different from the DCD-997 that we've been using for the past couple of years. With a top speed of 2000 RPM and delivering 1,219 unit watts out and 38,250 beats per minute, DeWalt claims a 40% boost in performance over their previous generation of cordless drills. They also give you three gear modes to choose from, as well as manual control over the foot-mounted LED lights. The DCD-999 comes tool connect ready, and it's compatible with 60-volt flex bolt batteries, standard 20-volt batteries, and even the newest PowerStack pouch cell batteries. This tool is open to more power options than most of the other drills in our field. Makita's 40-volt XGT hammer drill boasts the highest voltage of any tool in its class, so how does that power hold up? It holds up phenomenally well. The GPH-01 hammer drill packs 1,250 inch-pounds of torque and pairs that with 2,600 RPM on the top speed, matching the flex in length only 7.1 inches from tip to tail. This XGT drill has notably smooth operation, accompanied by an anti-kickback mechanism to add an extra measure of safety. In a completely new feature, the clutch moves from the chuck and collar area to a dial on the foot. There's a different number of settings depending on what gear you're in as well. The field at the top is crowded this year, and without question, Makita's GPH-01 should be on your list as you consider the best overall cordless drills. We've heard a lot of noise about this drill floating around lately. Not that kind. So we got it in and wanted to test it out ourselves. This is the new Hercules 20-volt hammer drill from Harbor Freight. Now we've been getting countless requests from you guys to review the Hercules 20 volt brushless hammer drill and with a bare tool price of around $80 and a standard five year limited warranty, it's no wonder. This tool compares itself directly to Milwaukee and puts up numbers like 1200 inch pounds of max torque, 2000 RPM and 32,000 beats per minute. Those are impressive numbers, so you can bet that we built up some anticipation when testing time came around. In terms of handling, the half inch Jacobs ratcheting chuck works very well and the all metal gear construction should help with long term durability. This is one to watch for sure. This next drill hasn't even hit the market yet and we got our hands on it before anyone else. This is Hilti's new flagship drill, the SF10W22. It runs on their new 22 volt Neuron platform. With four speed ranges capping out at 330, 560, 1300 and 2230 RPM, this drill does everything from mixing to high speed drilling, with one notable exception. Given all the excellent options that Hilti has for actual rotary hammers, this drill lacks the hammer function that our other drill competitors possess. This is also a big tool, nine and a half inches from front to back. 
and it weighs 4.8 pounds as a bare tool, 7.7 .7 pounds with the B22170 battery. With everything else this drill does well, including active torque control for anti-kickback protection, we'll still recommend it as a viable tool for pros who need a heavy duty drilling solution. Our next competitor is the Metabo, bear with me, SB18 LTX3 BLQI. It's a great drill, bad name, great drill. Interestingly enough, if we narrowed this competition down to just concrete drilling performance, this model would be the winner hands down. With 3,800 RPM on the top end, it smokes the competition in both our quarter inch and half inch concrete bit tests. However, it's a larger, heavier drill and it doesn't come cheap, but it's well built and its LIHD battery packs are very highly regarded and very dependable. We've got Bosch as our next competitor and this is from their new Pro Factor line, the GSB 18 volt 1330C. Thanks to advanced battery and brushless motor technology, Bosch is confidently joining the high torque cordless drill group. This tool packs 2200 RPM in high gear and 1330 inch pounds of torque in low gear. 30,000 beats per minute powers you quickly through concrete drilling applications at top speed. Sweetening the deal, there's kickback control which Bosch pioneered in cordless drills. An innovative leveling feature and it's ready for a connected module if you want to add smart capabilities. Where Pro meets consumer, we have the rigid R861152. This 18 volt brushless high torque hammer drill pairs with Rigid's max output batteries to produce 2000 RPM and 32,000 beats per minute on the top end and up to 1250 inch pounds of torque. If you're looking for a cordless drill that punches above its weight class for professional with DIY work, this is a great tool. Ryobi is one of the most popular and fastest growing prosumer brands in the industry and we chose this, the PBL HM101 as our choice for some comparative testing. With 750 inch-pounds of torque in low gear and 2100 RPM and 31,000 BPM on the top end, it's a strong contender as the best cordless drill in the prosumer class. Another intriguing point in the argument for Ryobi is just how expansive their 18-volt line has become. On the 18-volt OnePlus platform, you have access to over 280 products across the power tool, outdoor power equipment, and lifestyle sectors. For homeowners and entry-level pros looking to buy into a budget platform that covers all their needs, this might be your best pick. Finally, let's take a look at one of the top-selling brands at Lowe's, Cobalt. They threw their hat in the ring with this, their flagship 24-volt hammer drill in their XTR series. Highlighting high performance at a great value, the 1424A03 is more compact than Cobalt's previous flagship model. It also produces an impressive 1200 inch pounds of torque and delivers 2000 RPM in high speed. Cobalt's previous hammer drill was equipped with only 650 inch pounds of torque. So it's quite the accomplishment that Cobalt managed to pack that much more performance without a huge size weight penalty. Another big change to Cobalt's feature set is that it now has anti-kickback control. If the bit binds and the drill begins to twist, it automatically kicks the motor off. Now that we've laid out who made our list for the top picks, let's take a look at how we tested and what we look for in a top quality drill. Performance is our number one priority when we test drills. After all, if the tool can't get the job done, what good is it really? We test in multiple materials to see how a drill's performance changes as it moves from light duty to heavy duty tasks. While we do test to find each drill's practical limits, not every drill is capable of doing every job. The first test has us driving a half inch lag bolt in a stacked OSB in low speed. We use an inline torque meter to get the maximum amount of torque before the drill stops. Test two uses a spade bit to drill holes through stacked OSB until we get three reliable results from which to draw an average drilling speed. For test three, we use a two and nine sixteenths inch self feed bit and we drill through a two by four pine stud at the highest possible speed. After drilling three holes into the stud, we average the times from trigger pull to completion. Finally, we run all our drills with a 3 8 inch concrete bit, drilling 3 inch holes in cured 4000 PSI concrete and compare 3 runs to arrive at an average. We use these performance results as well as all the specifications we're about to cover to make our final judgment on these tools. There are a lot of features to consider, not all of them are necessary. Here's what we look for. Multiple speeds. Two speeds are a must. Kickback control. That stops the motor if the bit binds up. A side handle absolutely necessary on drills with higher torque and pretty much standard once you reach those heavier duty tools. Smart controls. While some like Milwaukee One Key offer customizable tool controls, we don't see those used as much as the tool management, inventory, and tracking features. LED light. Nearly every drill has one, but our favorites put the light around the chuck and eliminate shadows. Last but certainly not least, we have to cover the importance of price and value. 
Most of us have some sort of budget that we're working with when we buy a cordless drill. Staying within your budget while getting the most bang for your buck is key. We'll try to help you do that. Well, now you've seen our picks and what led us to choose them, but before we crown a winner, it's time for everybody's favorite part of the head-to-head, -head, the charts. After crunching all the numbers and hours and hours of hands-on testing, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 4th Generation 2904 takes the crown as our best cordless hammer drill. The Milwaukee M18 Fuel hammer drill earns our recommendation as the best cordless drill overall, thanks to the improvements that they made in this 4th generation model. Most importantly, Milwaukee added auto stop technology to make this tool safer and give it a major safety feature that it had lacked since the debut of this brushless fuel drill back in 2012. At $199 for the bare tool and around $299 for the kit with two XC 5.0 batteries, it's priced pretty aggressively for the amount of power and features that it delivers. As we briefly mentioned earlier, we haven't yet unlocked the full power of this tool either, as we've got the recently announced Red Lithium Forge pouch cell style batteries on the way to our shop. It's likely that this drill has more room to improve from its already number one positioning. Well, there you have it. If you're a pro in the market for a new hammer drill, Milwaukee is our number one pick. But remember, every tool that we reviewed is here for a reason. And so there's a lot of viable options for you as a professional in the industry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want more tool reviews and head-to-head -head videos.